Solar energy is the energy associated with solar radiation, and it represents the primary source of energy on Earth. The sun is the engine of life on Earth, which gives us light and heat. Its radiation, used by plants to grow, passes in the form of chemical energy to living organisms that eat plants, and to others such as humans who feed themselves with animals and plants. In this way, we indirectly use solar energy to live. Man managed to take advantage of this infinite energy directly through photovoltaic cell which generates electricity, thanks to particular semiconductor elements which are stimulated by light and not by heat, the photovoltaic cell produces electricity. But how does this happen? More than 10 years in industrial supplies have led Jazz to become a qualified partner for some of the most important companies in the field of renewable electricity production. The solar cell, formed by cells, converts sunlight directly into electricity by means of physical phenomenon of the photovoltaic effect, branch of the photoelectric effect. A theory described by Albert Einstein, for which he was awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1921. The main component of the photovoltaic cell is a very common element on Earth. The silicon, which is purified and shaped into thin strips called wafer. If we look at the atomic structure of silicon, we can see that the valence electrons, those of the outermost layer of the atom, are linked with other silicon atoms, creating a very regular crystal lattice, as if they were pairs of pupils holding hands to form an orderly cue. Through sophisticated technologies, atoms of different elements are inserted in the pure silicon. This procedure is named doping. In this way, thanks to the presence of impurities in its crystal lattice, the silicon becomes a semiconductor, and as you can see from our example, some children no longer have a companion. Silicon belongs to group 14 of the periodic table and has four valence electrons. If the dopant atoms belong to the elements of group 13, which has three valence electrons, such as boron or gallium, a p-type semiconductor, and an electron hole will be obtained. If instead elements of group 15 with five valence electrons, as phosphorus or arsenic are used, an n-type semiconductor will be obtained and a free electron will be present in the crystalline lattice. In a silicon solar cell, the p-type semiconductor foil is coupled with an n-type semiconductor foil, so composing a p-n junction. The separation zone is called the depletion region. In this area, the free electrons of the n side will fill the electron holes of the p side, and a zone will be created where there are no free electrons or holes. Due to migration, the n side becomes positively charged and the p side becomes negatively charged, producing an electric field. The outer layer of the outmost n type is much thinner than the outer layer of the p type to allow photons to reach the depletion region where, due to the photovoltaic effect, some bonds break and electrons, holes, and free electrons are created. Thanks to the strength of the electric field, they are pushed out of the junction area, generating an excess of electrons, holes in the P area and the excess of electrons in the N area, thus creating a difference of electrical potential. By connecting an external circuit to the two layers, an electron circulation is obtained. That is a direct elect current flowing from N to P, and the electrons of N will fill the electron holes of P again. Whether it's your house or the Badla Solar Park, 
the largest photovoltaic system in the world. The panels must always be clean in order to maintain their efficiency. Then, the current flow is conveyed to an inverter, which transforms the direct current into alternating current. The latter passes through the transformer, which increases the voltage of the current to be fed into the electricity grid. Finally, there is a counter to detect the amount of energy produced. If you want to learn more about the operation of the inverter and transformer, watch our previous videos. If you found this video useful, please let us know by leaving a like and a comment. You can also share it. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Find out our next project by visiting our website, jazzcompany.com.